Hello everybody, um, my name is Luis Gonzalez. Uh, I'm the carpenter instructor here at the Job Corps, Miami Job Corps. And this is my class on the WFED 105. Um, and my class is gonna be on how to erect a perpendicular line using the Pythagorean theorem, uh, which is otherwise called the 345 method. All right, so do you guys know what a, a, a perpendicular line is? Yeah. It's a line that intersects crosswise like this, and, and it creates a, a perfect 90 degree angle. All right, and, and Pythagorean theorem, do you guys know what that is? Okay, good, that's good. We've kind of gone over this before, so it's, um, the Pythagorean theorem uh, states that A squared, plus b squared equals c squared, okay? So now I'm gonna demonstrate and show you all uh, a diagram of how this is done and in order to create a perfect triangle which has a perfect 90 degree angle in it. All right, so first of all, we have to describe a line, a straight line going across the, the uh, bottom of the triangle, all right? So this line could be any length, as long as it's uh, within the measurements that you want to use. Um, these these uh, protractors that I'm using are in centimeters, and but they, but uh, this method works in, with any proportion of numbers, as long as they're they're in the same proportion. Um, I'm gonna use this ruler. So we have a we have a straight line here. First off, first off, I'm gonna make a, a starting point here, which we're gonna call A, and then I'm gonna use this uh, ruler here, which is in centimeters, but it's the same proportions as uh, inches or feet. So the first line I'm gonna describe is a 40 centimeter line, which represents the four feet. section of the triangle. So here I draw a line across here. This is going to be point B. And this side is going to be the four foot section. Then I, I'm going to describe a, a three foot line using the 30 centimeters. And I, I'm going to ask uh, Malik to help me to hold this because I have to describe an arc in a, in a, I'm going to eyeball a 90 degree angle and I'm going to describe an arc on the top. So, Malik, if you can hold it there at the 30 degree point, the 30 centimeter point. All right, so I'm going to use the top point here and I'm going to describe a, an arc. Right? Okay. And then, now I'm going to describe a, another arc from point A to point C. This is going to be point C, where the vertex joins it at this point. So from point B to point C, I'm sorry, from point A to point C, I'm going to describe an arc um, at 50 centimeters, which represents the five feet side. All right, so hold it right there at that point. And now I'm going to describe another Right at this point. This is not an exact method, but okay. So, where these points join together at this uh, vertex, that's point C. So, I take my, uh, my ruler and I'm going to join point A and point B. I mean, point C and point B, and then I'm going to join. Uh, Point A and point C. This side is going to be the three foot side, and this side, do you guys know what the hypotenuse is? It's the longest line in the triangle. So this side is going to be five feet. Right? So you can use this. 
this in different, in whatever proportions you, you, you want. Um, in any multiples of any proportion. So we have, for instance, if this is a, if you multiply these, these this proportion by, by two, we have two times three is six, and two times four is eight, and two times five is 10. So if you want to make your triangle, your uh, 90 degree angle bigger, in bigger proportions, you can use any multiples, two, three, four, five, whatever multiples, and multiply those numbers in order to get a larger triangle. So, now I'm going to, uh, I'm going to demonstrate how we do this layout on the floor over here uh, using just a, a hammer, two inch finish nails, uh, a measuring tape, a chalk line, and also you need a sharp pencil, always a sharp pencil to the more sharper it is, the more accurate your lines are going to be. So let's move over here to the floor and I'll demonstrate how we do this. Alright, so as I stated before, the, the way we're going to do this is by putting uh, two inch nails in uh, finish nails in, in the floor and striking a, a straight line to start with. So I start at one point and I'm gonna Possible, uh, or plumb as possible, right? So then, now I'm going to take the the chalk box, and I will attach it to the to that nail. Pull my chalk line out. Make a long line. Doesn't matter how long the line is, it's better for me uh, so that I can lay out my triangle. So this is going to be my starting point, which is starting the A, and then I take my tape measure and I'm going to hook it onto the nail, right, so I take my pencil, my sharp pencil, and I place it on the, on the four feet mark, and then I slide a, a crosshair line across the first line that I draw. Okay, this is how you do it by, by yourself. Thank you for your help, Tyrell. But this method is also is normally done with two people, and it's a lot easier. But this is I'm showing you the method that you can use with a nail and doing it by yourself. So now what I got I have to do is uh, I have to place another nail at this point. Four foot line crosses with the okay. Now I have that line. Now what I'm gonna do at this point is, is I will uh, eyeball a 90 degree angle and I take my measuring tape and hook it onto the nail. And at the three foot point, I'm going to place my pencil. And then I'm going to eyeball a 90 degree 
line and I'm going to scribe an arc. Okay, once I have that scribed, all I have to do is extend my tape to the first, the point of beginning, which is point A, and then I'm going to use the, the five foot uh, angle, and I'm going to scribe another I'm going to scribe another line, another arc, I'm sorry. So, now at this point, I will take my chalk box and we'll join these lines. Okay. So I put it over the nail there. And then I'm going to cross the intersection of the arcs that I, that I made previously. And you can extend it beyond the beyond the arc. Okay, I snap my line there. Reload my chalk box, this is chalked. And then I I will hook it onto this next the other the, the point of beginning nail that I have. And I will strike the hypotenuse line. And I'm going to be crossing the same intersection at the vertex, which is the arch that I described up here previously. So I get it there. I strike a line. And there I have my three, four, five triangle, which creates a perfect uh, 90 degree angle. And by doing this roughly with these, these types of tools, I might not get exactly a perfect angle, but it, it should be within a sixteenth of an inch. So I'm going to get my framing square to check my lines to see if I'm accurate. And if you place it on the lines, sorry, I have a nail here previously. Okay, so we place a um, Place the framing square on the line and check it out. And my line looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I have a, I have a previous top line in. There it is. Yeah. So there's the there's the perfect triangle. And, and I have a 90 degree angle right here. And this is how we lay out the buildings, rooms, concrete uh, forms, or whatever. So that is my class for the 345 theory method. Thank you.